I'm 24 years old. I just turned 25 this year. I am 27 years old. I'm turning 28 this year. I am 32 years old. <laughs> Why did you choose CU Medi? I chose CU Medi because it is a unique opportunity for someone from a totally different field. And here, the SF people from science and on science background. I believe that it can make me a great doctor. What do you like most about the CU Medi program? I like that we get early exposure to clinical years. I really like the dynamics between classmates because we have different age and come from different backgrounds. Okay, okay. Good, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Dr. Balot Sadamthit. I'm one of faculty from CU Medi and here. I'm Dr. Danai Kevin School, and I'm also one of the techniques here with uh, Dr. Panot. Yeah, and you can call me Jan Boom. And here's yes. Dr. Man, right? Yes, my name is Mark, and this is Dr. Boom. Yeah, we are really pleased to uh, welcome all of you to our information session today. So we are going to talk uh, some important information for all of you who want to apply for CU Medi. Good assignment, just uh, tell them what we're going to talk today. Yes, I think uh, you must be very excited uh, as, uh, as the same as us too in uh, getting to know the course. You might have heard of the CU Medi International Medical Program, which we are really excited about and we want to share the information with you. So uh, luckily it's online and we get to meet everyone here all over the world. So let's dive in, shall we? Yeah, because we're going to talk about the admission requirement. Yes. You can ask us a lot of questions. Also, we're going to talk about timeline. And yeah, the stuff you need to send for us for the apply, for apply to us. Okay, then okay, uh, let's, let's get started. Yeah. 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 Okay, so maybe we start Why? Should you choose CU Medi as your medical program? So we actually the only one medical degree program in Thailand that accept a bachelor degree. And what we try to do is uh, try to uh, integrate the clinical population since day one in your first semester. Yes, I think this is a very uh, good advantage because uh, when I was a medical student myself, uh, like me and also Dr. Wu, we learned a lot of basic science. And then we can really connect the dots, you know what I mean? But here at CU Medi, you get to uh, expose patients in clinical settings along with basic knowledge, which we will provide you uh, with that. So yeah. it's gonna be a very great course. Yeah, and today actually at that moment, we'll show you around, faculty also show you around the ward, going to the ICUs. Because you got, if you admit it to our curriculum, you will go to ICU ward since, I mean, in the first semester and exposed to some clinical experience. So here yeah, we have a whole subset of uh, skills that you're gonna learn from our CUMD, very full experience, for skill, for good and for fun. 
Yes, and these four reasons, so COPD is for you. Yeah, so we're going to start with uh, four experience. Yes. So as you know, we have four years curriculum um, starting with at our faculty of medicine to learn God. So you have this uh, learning environment with our professor here to learn a lot of basic knowledge, the fundamental uh, science you need to be uh, before you get into the clinic. But we also integrate the clinical exposure. And then we move in second year. Yes, in second year, you are uh, exposed both in King Jolotoko and Memorial Hospital in Bangkok, and you transfer uh, your clinical settings and uh, experience at uh, Sira Cha Shabri Hospital. Sira Cha Shabri Hospital. So it is a very beautiful hospital next to the sea and really near to Bangkok, just like one hour driving. So you're gonna learn both clinical experience from us in Chulang uh, Hospital and also in Sirasha province. Yes, and then uh, what about the clinical project, Dr. Boon? So we move back to Bangkok. Uh, is it like, how's it, how's it work? Yeah, so actually as, as we mentioned before, uh, when you enter in the clinic, you start at Sirasha first, and with some um, rotation, you go going to come back to Sulangkorn, like the chronic and palliative care setting in Sulangkorn Hospital. You will learn a lot of that in, in this setting. And, and finally, the last year. Yes, this is uh, what uh, we are really excited about. We have uh, an international training experience abroad. So it depends on your uh, interest, your um, where you want to study, where you want to further your skill, things like that, which we have large collaboration with um, parties all over the world. Yeah, in, in the UK, in the US, yes, you can choose by yourself. Yeah, let's see what else. Okay, so next, CBD is for skills. What does that mean? It means that you will be equipped with uh, four of these, which is humanistic medicine, research, clinical, and basic science, which are all very important to become a doctor within, uh, in this 21st century. So you're not gonna be um, learning uh, the traditional way. We're gonna learn a very uh, new way in advance, which you have more uh, advantage when uh, compared to others. Yeah, and, and I want to emphasize that this four skill will be teach since day one. I mean, yes. you learn, like as Ajahn uh, Man, he is an orthopedist. So at the first semester, you learn how to do some like reduction. <laughs> yes, things like that, like a uh, like, uh, fracture, uh -huh. things like that. So medical students here in this program will have an early experience and they know what they have to be or what they will become early on. So you can decide very early yeah. at this stage. We have this uh, really uh, innovative uh, simulation setting uh, center that I will show you again. Yes, I will take, I will take you, like Dr. Boop said, uh, I will take you for a virtual tour. Be sure to uh, stay tuned and then we have a look so like where it is mm -hmm. and how that works. Yeah, and, and a part of that we have this research skill. So as I mentioned in day one, you will have a subject called special project in my own medical side. You can pair with our advisor, our professor in Jolangkorn University, but not, not only in faculty of medicine, you can also pair with other faculty to like engineering or uh, pharmacology. So you will have a chance to conduct a research that you want to do and can like get published because this is what uh, we emphasize to all of you because um, this is what uh, made uh, knowledge uh, move forward. Yes, exactly. Yes, and if you're interested, you can contact Dr. Boo. He has many public tests. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and also humanistic medicine is what are the skill, the communication skill, what you need to learn before you um, uh, encounter the patients. So we teach this in day one. We have uh, simulated patients. Yes. yes. Okay. And next is uh, COPD is for good. So we take our heritage one step further to do good and things like that. So you are already, uh, you have a good will to help people as a doctor, but we're going to help you uh, move forward and to help lots of people and then to improve your abilities to enhance uh, 
this skill to deliver this to the society and to your patient. Yes, as Pilan Kai is a very has a long history, yes. more than 100 years. So you, we cannot think for you that our curriculum is uh, very um, established, well established. Yes. And lastly, yeah, few minutes for fun. So as you guys know, learning medicine may be uh, can be tedious, but here we try to um, change the learning environment to be very um, uh, creative yes. and try to make the learning. So like last month, uh, we took our students to Shaham uh, oh, really? yeah, yeah to get them to see uh, the gastroenterologist wow. uh, treat the patient and also experience how uh, how the hospital work and also just go around the sea. Yeah, so so it's fun. Yeah, so we have like a real experience. Like, uh, I don't really uh, have a lot of that kind of experience, but uh, having heard uh, Dr. Boom say it, I think it's gonna be fun and you learn along the way and you get to, um, it's not gonna be like, you know, hard work and stressful. You do enjoy the process of learning and you really get to visit uh, the province. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the, 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 the detail of the, I mean, the cost might be um, hard to study, but we try our best to make it fun for you. Yeah. A lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so the highlights for our course is first, there's no uh, age limit. All right, yes. you can be 30, 40, you might have watched the video. There's a variety of age we have uh, younger than that, older than that, which you all can enjoy. And it, you can graduate from any faculty, is that right, Dr. Boone? Yes, so as I mentioned, we are the only program that accept bachelor degree and three and we are not limited to science degrees. We yes. also accept any degree that you have, wow. uh, whether it be literature mm -hmm. or music therapy, any of that. You can be, you can be accept to our program. So any bachelor degree, right? So yes. the arts, uh, whatever, it doesn't have to be science based. Okay, and. That's bring us to our last highlight, which is we have a very diverse class. So we exchange a lot and it's a new, uh, effective and very creative way of learning medicine in this, uh, in this modern yeah. era. This year. Uh, yes. Okay, so here's the very important, yes. Yeah, the hiking part. <laughs> here is the admission timeline. And first you have to know that this is a four year course for the duration of study and the application period is about February. So for this academic year mm -hmm. for 2023, it's gonna be just around the corners, all right? So this is it's, it's gonna be it's November. November. Yeah. So February is about two months. Yeah, um, two months ago. Yeah, nice. so let's let's have a look in uh, some more details. Ah, okay, yeah. Here is the admission requirement. Okay, yeah. Um, for this year, so first, like I've said, you already have a bachelor's degree of, of anything, right? Okay, and second would be your English score. It could be TOEFL, it could be IELTS, okay, as you've seen on the screen, but there are some, uh, some exceptions, such as, such as if you are like a citizen in yeah. a certain English speaking yeah, country, yeah, like right. Australia, you can The detail is in the website. So you can check it out. And also, uh, you can use the whole IL or TOEFL test if you have a bachelor degree in international program in Thailand. So the, the detail is in the website, so you can see and you can like use the old one. You don't have to take the new one. Yes, it could uh, save you some money. So you be sure to check all the details in our website. Mm -hmm. And next will be the MCAT test scores, which will be needed for uh, application in our course. Okay, so we have to take that as well in order to uh, hand in the application. And next would be the CV, which I think you already have that, and the statement of purpose, and two recommended two recommendation letters, which uh, you have to uh, make some contact with uh, with your attendings, with your professors. Yes, and then uh, he or she will send the letters directly to us. But first, I think you have to uh, apply to us first in order to get the ID to hand it over to your 
uh, professor, is that right, Dr. Boom? Yeah, so at, at this time, you just have to like contact the professor that you, got, you are going to apply to this program. And when we open the portal for application, after you have uh, applied for us, you will get the ID back to you, and then you just email the professors or advisors to send us the recommendation letter directly to our email. Yes, and uh, the letters who have the ID that will be given by us. Yes, uh -huh. that's right. Okay, so that's it for the admission uh, requirements. And you can see more details, like Dr. Poo said, you can check our website here. Yes, this is the website. It's from our, our official website. You can use this QR code to scan or just check this because we have this official announcement that have also have the timeline and the detail of what you need to do before apply to us. Yes. Okay. And the timeline, we're talking about the timeline. Okay. So now it's November and the application period will be 1st to 27th of February 2023, which on the 27th, will, uh, the deadline will be at 1 p.m. in the yeah. afternoon. Okay. Uh, time. Time. Uh, yeah. okay. Be sure to write that down. 1 p.m. in the afternoon, Thailand time, is the deadline for an application. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. But if there are any corrections, like um, some delay in in uh, some score, so you oh. need to mm -hmm. make some adjustment. Uh, there's a there's a extend the duration. duration. We will extend the duration of accepting that uh, correction until the end of March. Yes. Also so 1 p.m. Yes, in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. As well. So if you're not sure, so just um, hand whatever you have in your hand and apply to us before 27th of February, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And then next will be the interview. So the interview will be around first week of April, 2023. Okay, we'll keep on updating the date of interview uh, in our website and Facebook. Be sure to like and follow. And then the announcement of successful applicants will be uh, contacted around May of the same year, okay? And our foundation course will be around June to July 2023. And the registration for the first semester will be on July. And finally, the first semester we will start uh, in, in August. Yes, you will like in August. Right? So the, the, the detail of this uh, foundation and registration will be on the website, our official website, so you can see it at the detail first. So we, we want to talk about the MCAT score because uh, we use this MCAT, our medical college admission test, uh, to be one of our factors to uh, evaluate uh, the detail of the applicants. And uh, what I want to say is at this point, we want to apply for academic year uh, 2023. You should have uh, the test um, at, uh, appointment now. Yes. Um, and I think it's should not be later than the end of January because the result will be later than like because March. it's going to take about one month for the result yes. to come out after you finish taking the test, right? Yeah, yes. so you should uh, have some idea that when you're going to take the MCAT, so the latest should be about January. Yeah, right. so, so if you don't have the MCAT score yet, you should like, apply for it not later than January. Uh, next year, but, but if you already have the MCAT score, so that's good news for you. Yeah, okay. and it is valid for two years. So if you have the MCAT from last year, you can use it yes, for, exactly. for this application. Yeah, yeah, be sure to hand it over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is uh, our core team, our strong core team. Uh, can you see where uh, Dr. Boo mm -hmm. and I <laughs> in the picture? Yeah, so we are really dedicated and we are looking forward to seeing you all. Yes, because like uh, we, our core team is um, our faculties who will take care of you who admitted to our course. And we are like your advisor, and we are um, use a lot of our time to help you to become an AD. Yes, and we also have a supporting staff that you will uh, meet when you uh, maybe since you apply to us. And when you become our uh, students, you have a lot of interaction together. Yes. 
can't wait, right? Okay, so be sure to uh, check our website, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook page. There will be details, updates, and if you have any questions, you can email us, yes, okay, or you can uh, call from the number you uh, shown in the screen, all right? Yes, and also in this session, after Ajahn Man have shown you the workshop to all our faculty, after that, you can ask many questions as you want to ask. We will try our best to answer and then clarify all your questions. Okay, so now, Dr. Yeah. Boom, I think I have a little bit uh, something to, to show, like there will be a virtual tour. So you guys are all over the world and I think it's easy for me to take you to our campus and we have a delicate virtual tour to, to see how uh, the environment is and yeah. you study with us, how yeah. about this, like yeah. the buildings. Uh, uh, the buildings, how things yeah. work around us. Uh, well, we actually in the heart of Bangkok, Chulamakor yes. is in Silom, so you see we have BTS, you can access our very easy, and Ajahn, the asset, said Ajahn Mabiru, show you around. And actually this website, you can go by yourself, it's a virtual tour in uh, at this website, but that might will show you first how to use it. Okay. okay. Okay, so let's go, shall we? Yeah. Okay, welcome guys. So here we have a virtual lobby of King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital together with Faculty of Medicine Chulalongkorn University. So this is a, a big lobby which have, has the access to other buildings as well. So first I want to show you the atmosphere of Bangkok. So those of you who has never been to Bangkok before, I'll show you. Okay, so we have a great scenery. Here is the main campus. Here's the main campus, which is combined with the faculty and the hospital. And the dorm you stay is right here. Okay, so we have a beautiful view of the city. And here we have a little, a little drone here. And this is the Lumpini Park. This is uh, one of the oldest parks in Thailand, which you can uh, run and jog and you can go canoeing, for example. It's a very nice uh, place to relax after, your, uh, after you finish your day studying. And this is Rama 4 Road. Okay, this is one of the main roads here in Bangkok. And here is Silong. Silong is um, the, the, the business district of Bangkok. And you can find many interesting places and many uh, find restaurants here. So we have a good time studying and enjoying food here. So on the far side, just before the horizon, you see the long river. That's the Chapuya River. That's uh, the river that runs through Bangkok. And on the other side, you can see trees and uh, all the green area here. This is Bangkatao. Bangkatao is uh, one of the famous places to go bike and relax during weekdays. So it's pretty near from our campus. So you have both um, city uh, atmosphere and you can relax um, with nature. So come here to a little bit southeast. So here you have uh, one of the tallest buildings here, which is pretty new. This is uh, Mahanakon building. Okay. Also, you have a great view up there. And a little bit to the south here, on the other side of Rama 4 Road, we have um, Samyan. Samyan, there's a big marketplace and a nice mall as well. A little bit to your right, to the west, this is the main Chulalongkorn University campus, which consists of faculty of engineering on your left, 
on your right is Faculty of Art and Political Science, and uh, you can sometimes collaborate with these as well. We have uh, some projects, and this is Henri Dunanbo, which uh, run through the campus. And this here, this is a, this is the Royal Sports Club, which has a running track for horses. If you uh, want to uh, see the race, you can uh, take a peek. And that's also another tall building there is uh, Bayok. Bayok is, uh, used to be one of the tallest buildings in, in Thailand. Okay, so also a nice place here. So we pretty much have good access to many places. And here you can see from here, you there's a BTS uh, station, which you can go just about anywhere in Bangkok by using the, the SkyTrain, the BTS SkyTrain. And here, you can see that there's so many buildings here and you don't know where to start. So I'm just gonna start with one of the biggest buildings. I think, if not the biggest, is Kumin City on Kalam Song. This is uh, pretty new and we have pretty much everything in here. So let's dive in. Okay, so now we are standing here in front of Bumisili Mankalanusan building, or in short, it's Bumisili building. So it's very big and it's in the center of the hospital. So lots of patients here and lots of classes take place here in clinical settings. On your right, you can see there's a big building here is the library and it has its own coffee shop. So you can study for 24 hours, it never closed. So if you want to study and have lots of work to do, you can do it here. Load your cafe eat. And I'm gonna take you to this building, which is Bumisiri Bridge building. Okay, so now we enter the, the Bumisiri building. And you can see uh, doctors walking around, medical students, staff, nurses, right here. Okay, it's pretty pretty busy because we have lots of patients here. So I'm gonna take you to one of the patient ones, which is the stroke unit. Right, so now we enter Tulongkorn Stroke Center. So here we have a famous uh, neurology department and it's pretty clean, big and has a good environment taking care of our patient. So here we have uh, Professor Nitasi who is the director of the Stroke Center and also the director of the Theo Medi program. So let's hear what she has to say. Sawadee Welcome to our Jualongkorn Comprehensive Stroke Center. Stroke is the leading cause of death and disability in Thailand. Although it's a serious condition, it's preventable and treatable. Okay, so Our she's been waiting here for a long time, well and I will show you the word. And this is okay. our stroke unit. And so Hello, ICU, Professor Nitasi. Okay, and I'll be takes care uh, of your guide. Stroke cases a year. Okay, so here we have the counter for the ward and I'll show you the patient. Okay, and here we have a pretty good view. And a little bit here to the window, you can see the view of Lumpini Park, which I've shown you earlier, a big park with good view. And here, this is the patient in uh, the intensive care unit, which Dr. Boom has just mentioned earlier on. Okay, and the atmosphere here is pretty good. Okay, so next, I'm gonna show you how you can apply the skill which you practice here at Chula Hospital. So you need clinical skills like Dr. Boom said. Okay, so here we have real patient and we have a simulated patient which I will show you next. We have a simulated uh, patient center, which we call the CHAM Center, or Jilong Kwan Healthcare Advanced Multi-Professional Simulation Center. Okay, so we provide lots of tools for you to become 
a well-rounded doctor. I'm going to show one of the modules here. So we have a lot of simulating uh, rooms here. So this is one of them. Okay. So can you guess what they're doing, the medical students? So they are actually resuscitating a simulated patient. Okay, so this is very, uh, very like in real situation. So you have to work as a team in order to resuscitate this patient. So let's see what they're up to. Oh, we have a pop quiz. What does CAB stand for when providing resuscitation? So this is just one of the example that um, you can reveal your knowledge and you can also have a hand-on experience with the attendings, with your friends, and you can review as much as you can because we have all these two provided. Okay, can you guess? I'm not sure if this is in MCAT. <laughs> okay, so my guess would be compression error breathing. Okay, wow, got it correct. Okay. So you can practice with uh, what you have learned. And here you can see the model. Practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect. And we do provide the tools and or the sources that you need to become a doctor for the 21st century. Now, let's see what's in this room. How I can see that this medical student is checking probably the chest, right? Okay, and this is like a robot. And this is a smaller robot. Oh, why we use smaller robot? I'm not sure it must have been cheap or not. I don't know, but it must allow practice and all sizes of human, something like that. So we provide many kinds of tools and this is a very similar to how we do things in the ward, right? And also there are monitors, there are people monitoring you and try to uh, improve what you, what you just did. So I'm just gonna take you to this room. So this is the monitor and the professor and the attending staff will check. Like recently you just saw the students are trying to resuscitate the simulated patient and uh, there'll be rooms for you to um, check and then to improve in what way or what task that has been missed or what could be improved, okay? So this is like a example for the virtual tour. Okay, and we have many, many, many rooms like eye exam, tapping of the stomach, of the knee, things like that. Physical examination is pretty huge and I just want you to come here. It's pretty awesome. Okay. So let's check something else, shall we? I'm gonna take you to the lobby again. And here for me as a surgeon, I do a lot of surgery and I'm going to take you to another building, which is the Patria Park building. So this building also has many departments, departments such as the soft cadaver surgical training lab. This is very famous. And the other would be excellent centers and research laboratories, which will fulfill your dream of becoming researchers if you want to be a research doctor. And also some other departments such as the systems biology center which you can um, further your study. So I'm gonna take you to the elevator and gonna take you to the soft cadaver lab. Okay, so now we're at the soft cadaver surgical training center. So here you can really practice your hand skill. Um, it depends. So it's, if you want to be a, sur a surgeon, then this is the place for you. Okay, so we have a pretty special cadaver for you to practice just about anything. For me, as an arthroscopist, I do a lot of knee arthroscopy and shoulder arthroscopy. This is where I practice my surgical skill, right? So here we don't really have a real cadaver here, but we have 
big places for us for practicing surgical uh, skills and procedures here. And we have cadavers for you to do research and also to practice. So whenever you feel like it, you make contact here and then tell them what you want to practice and then you can actually do just about anything. All right. So after a long day of work and study, you want to relax and you might be wondering where you want to go. I will show you. So this is the King Ramadi VIII courtyard and this is his the monument of his, of him so he's kind of like the founder of our hospital and he's a very important person for us okay and here you can actually go to um, lots of places so here you see the helipad and you can go shopping if you need something you can start by uh, going to MBK Center or you can go to Siam Square. This is one of the highlights here in Bangkok. You can go shopping or go um, dining. And this is one of the famous um, department store here next to Siam, which is Siam Paragon. Okay, so you can watch movies here, take a walk, relax here, and you can take the Sky Train, which you can uh, take a ride from our hospital to the, the department store. Okay. And what about the dorm? Let's check out the dorm. Dorms is right here next to the park. Great view. And this is an example view of our dorm. Very nice place. You can see the pool right there. If you want anyone likes to go swimming, you can swim here. And then here's the gym to keep you fit and firm. Okay. So it's not just about studying, it's about good quality of life, which I personally like. So lots of treadmills, weights, I know you love it, okay, and great scenery. And what about food inside the hospital? We have lots of restaurants here inside the hospital. If you want to try them all, I've never tried to finish all of it, but because there's just so many. But you can relax here and it's pretty fun and has a really good things to eat. You know, whenever, whenever I want to uh, study and I'm exhausted, I like to come here, find something to eat. <laughs> and let's check out our coffee shop. So this 24-hour coffee shop here is inside the library so you remember you remember we start here right we start here and the street and you can see the commissary building right here and here is coffee shop i personally like to buy the beans here and make coffee myself at the door or sometimes i just grab a cup of coffee here and then i just go study so here is the library so we have computers access to the internet and lots of journals and just about any you can ask her if you ever need anything and, right and this is a great place to do some research and study so most of the times i just stay here at the library because it's fun and you get to meet friends here it's all really great okay so that's just about it for the uh, the tour, right? Okay, so I guess some of you might have some questions about the program, where to relax, things like that. But what are the requirements for the timeline that you're still uh, having questions or doubts? 